Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Spillway, Gunslinger, Hell on Earth. Yeah, I made a good talk about my education last time. That was good fun. Oh my. Hello. Hello, deer. Hello, other deer. You know, there's a. Uh, speaking of deer, uh, gotta make this perfect. Ha ha ha. There's, uh, there's a couple of deer that come up to my window. So I live on the ground floor. And uh, I leave my window open most of the time. During the summer, anyway. Even during the winter, like a lot of it, it's, it's still open. Because like the real, the, the, uh, the reality is like I still have to ventilate my room somehow in the, in the winter even. Even if, uh, even if it is cold, I still have to get fresh air. Um, okay, like, hello? We're getting completely overrun by uh, clots. These, these. No, I'm not. I'm not dying to you. You're not killing me. You're not killing me. You are. You are not killing me. Okay, you're dead. Do you understand that? There we go. Okay. That's all I needed from you. Um. Anyway, so uh, I keep my window open even in the winter uh, for a lot of it just because I have to get ventilation in my room because otherwise it gets very, very hot because I have a gaming computer in here and I don't really keep my door open because we have a cat and I don't really want the cat in my room. Um, she's a nice cat, but I have uh, the way my room's set up, there's just cords everywhere and I don't really want cat hair getting into my computer. And It's just it's more work than it's worth having her in here and like even if I have her in here, like what am I going to do? I'm going to sit down on my bed with her for a while? Like, no. Remember, if I'm in my room, I'm going to be on my computer. I'm not going to be spending time with her anyway, so... If I want to spend time with the cat, I'll just go to wherever the cat is. It's fine. So I, I keep my room, my door closed for, like, almost 100% of the time. Um, and then my window has to be open to get some uh, some ventilation in here so that my computer doesn't, like, kill it. But um, even in, 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 the, in the super cold days, it's uh, I'm able to keep my window closed most of the way. Like I like kind of like move the window, depending on the temperature, you know. Adjust the uh, adjust the, the thermals on my computer. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, we I I keep my window open. Is the, is the moral of the story is I keep my window open, right? And uh, there's a couple of deer. They're, they're like they're babies, right? Because they did, they just had kids. The uh, the adults, the not baby deer. What it's called, doe? I don't know what the other one is called. So that's a that's a female deer. I don't know what a, I don't know what a young deer is called. I do not know. It's a couple of uh, of young deer, anyway. Out uh, by my house, we live um, in a uh, fairly well forested area still. Um, it's, it's in the middle of the city, kind of thing, but uh, there's a uh, like protected forest area just like right in my backyard um, which isn't like a very large area but it, it's enough to be an, an ecosystem for, for the animals that live here right so we've got a lot of raccoons and owls and snakes and all kinds of uh, all kinds of goodness right but uh, anyway the deer they uh, they like to eat the weeds like directly outside my window like literally my window is like you know here there's weeds right here <laughs> and uh, so they'll eat the the weeds right there, and uh, they usually come by around six, maybe uh, seven, five, five, five to seven, sometime in that area. Um, which is oftentimes when I nap, because uh, you know I record in the I record in the mornings. I, I make my my lunch, I chill out for a little bit, and then I'm tired. I go for a nap at uh, usually around five o'clock, six o'clock ish, and. Uh, Shortly afterwards, the deer will pop up and start munching on their weeds, and uh, they'll wake me up. I always take a picture of them, so I got like a lot of pictures of the uh, the deer, the the baby deer. Not really babies anymore, but uh, still quite young. Uh, right in my backyard, just like a foot away from me, in the uh, just munching on stuff, and uh, I can't even I can't even scare them away anymore. Like when it when it started happening, like. I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. Uh, I was able to like yell at them 
and they'd leave for like a day and they'd come back the next day and they'd be like all right well time to eat these weeds again and i'd yell at them again they'd run away these days i yell at them and they like go to the back of the backyard and then look and then they just walk back to the weeds and and start munching on them again i'm like oh my god i'm gonna kill you guys i'm gonna wait until it's deer hunting season and i'm gonna go out and take my first life they're so annoying but uh, they are cute they are quite they are quite cute so I, I always take a picture of them and share it with people because people like seeing them people are like jealous of me for having like deer in my backyard I'm like you should not be jealous <laughs> they're they're adorable but insanely annoying and that's not even like including that like they eat your plants and just make a mess of everything you know But uh, they're there, they're there. So I got uh, I got a ton of pictures of them. My parents had no idea what was happening, even though they live in the same house. But uh, I'm the only one on the back side of the house, so I guess I'm the only one that really... I mean, on the ground floor, anyway. They're at the front, so they see deer out in the front all the time. And then after they see them in the front, or just before they see them in the front, they, uh, they were eating and waking me up from my nap. Oh, I don't like them at all. I want to like, I don't, and the thing is, is I don't even want to like, because there, there are things that I could do. Like I could get like a, a squirt gun and start to like scare them off that way or something. And it's like I don't know. I'm not really like the kind of person to do that. Like I'm not, I'm not antagonistic towards the deer. You know, I don't like them so much, but like they're just they're living their own life. I mean, if that life does involve waking me up from my nap, I get I get internet points from it. So I guess it kind of evens out. I'll, I'll see if I can find a picture of it that I'd want to share. Like, the thing is, I don't want to share too much on the, uh, the YouTube channel because I don't want to give away my location too much. Um, especially right now, since I live at my parents' house still. If I lived on my own, um, I wouldn't mind sharing that. But uh, since I do live with my parents, it's not my house. It's not my, like, thing to share, right? Which happens a lot. And I'm like... I, I don't personally care about sharing this information, but, like, it's, it's not my information to share. So, even though, like, I could have had this information and it kind of is my information it's, it's like it's not you know I had a dream last night where I uh, I won the lottery I don't I don't often dream about making money um, because like I don't know why dream about making money when you can just dream about having all of the things instead uh, well I don't know money's not really the, the thing that I want in my life most it's, uh, it's definitely a part of my life. It's, you know, money makes you eat. Money gets you, like, a shelter and, and water and, and food and all these other great things that are really, really nice to have. Um, but uh, money's, money's not, like, my, my main goal, my, my top priority. Uh, but anyway, I won the lottery. Right, it was a, uh, a scratch-off ticket. And uh, I won. I won 200000 fruits worth approximately two dollars each and I'm like oh my god that's like two hundred thousand dollars no it was, it was like it was like two hundred thousand of these like weird grape things <laughs> that uh, were for some reason worth two dollars each and I'm like that's like a lot of money like I could sell those for like a dollar each and they'll go so uh, the, the prize was coming from like the US government so I'm like man I'll just like if they have that many of them maybe they want to buy them like half price and resell them you know, I don't know. So uh, I was, I was, I was showing everybody's like piece of paper in my dream. Like I won the lottery. Like I'm rich. You know, it's only like two hundred thousand fruits. <laughs> like two hundred thousand grapes. I won two hundred thousand of the world's most expensive grapes. Um, and uh, I'm like, man, I'm rich. And uh, I, was, I was so excited. I never actually like handed in my money I never got my money my my fruits um, but I did I did get excited about it and I shared it with everybody and I'm like I'm rich I won the lottery and I kept thinking about how I'm gonna like get rid of these fruits and the tournament of money so like I don't want 200,000 grapes I don't know maybe I'll keep like a thousand of them but like I don't 
I don't, I don't need that many grapes. <laughs> I just, you know, it's it's not it's not a part of my uh, part of my thing. So I was uh, I was like getting excited. I was like planning out how I'm gonna move out and stuff. And I hate dreams like this because uh, around this point I woke up and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> not a thing. And that always sucks. I hate when I I, I hate when I have like a super pleasant dream that feels very realistic, and then I wake up and I'm like, oh man, that could have like that's not that's not that's not quite true that's not that's not how it actually works you know it's uh, it kind of stinks but you know what can you do hey buddy how's it going uh, pretty well but not for you pretty well but not for me either all right do it do okay yeah I understand I understand. Don't think I don't understand, because I do. Bring it, Flesh Pound. And bring it you. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Can you hit this boy? Can you hit this boy? Yeah, you can. Uh, that's not enough bullets to kill a Scrake. But this is... Even if you're the world's worst gunslinger. Whew. Okay. Yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a strange dream. I have lots of strange dreams. I don't know uh, what's wrong with me. <laughs> but they always, uh, every dream that I seem to remember is just bizarre. Utterly bizarre. Some of them are nice. Like, some of them are... Like, uh, some dreams don't feel like reality, right? Like, some dreams feel like they're fun, but they're not, like, reality, right? So when I wake up, I'm not like, oh, that that could have been, like, true. Not not that, like, winning $200,002 fruits is true either, but, like, it, it, it's, it has the, the semblance of, real, of, of realism in it, you know? Whereas, uh... Hello! I thought I, thought I heard you on the other side. Uh, whereas... With, um, come from the other side? Yeah, you are. With, uh, with some dreams, they just, they're completely not based in reality at all. And, uh, so they're, they're quite nice to, uh, to have because I, I wake up and I'm like, ah, oh, that was a pleasant dream. There wasn't anything that could actually happen in it. It was just fun. And, uh, it doesn't feel that bad. I also like having bad dreams, so that I wake up, I'm like, oh, thank God that's not real. You know, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> but having having like a, a dream that's kind of based in reality and then uh, is also like fun and good and like super super pleasant and exciting is uh, just not very good for me because I uh, I get very um, disappointed when I wake up and realize that it's not true. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. We're doing pretty good on Hell on Earth, eh? It's working. Feeling okay. I think uh, I think we might be able to keep it keep it with this. But bye. -bye.